What's going on everybody? It's Parker Ferrison with Ferrison Lawn Care and today I'm going to take you along on a new lawn that signed up a few days ago. Uh, I was doing the next door neighbor and was doing actually a leaf video and the neighbor came out and called the office and signed up for service. So I'm going to take you along on what it takes uh, as far as progress that it makes and the fallbacks that it might take and everything that goes along with someone who's just now signing up with us to getting a better looking lawn. All of our brand new lawns actually get fertilizer and weed control on that first application unless it's too hot for the fertilizer or it's too cold for the weed control everybody gets fertilizer and weed control in that first application so i'm going to take you along with me and uh, let's see what happens <laughs>
Okay, so I just got done treating everything. There's two things that stick out to me. It's thin because there's exposed root systems. Uh, really, really mature trees and violets. Violets are gonna be the hardest thing for us to take care of. I hit them good. There's only two times of the year that I can do anything with violets, early spring and late fall. They bloom this purple flower. I know it says roses are red, violets are blue, but violets aren't actually blue, they're purple. The plant is succulent at that point. As you can tell, there's just a lot of violets in the front lawn. There's a lot of thin areas. Let's go take a look at the back and see what the back looked like. Okay, in the backyard, there is a lot of trees. That can be good in the summertime to help aid the lawn um, from summer stress with the shade. But a lot of times it means there's not a lot of sun getting to the grass. So one thing that I'm going to suggest to the customer is to raise that mower height. I want that grass blade taller. Imagine a satellite dish. The bigger the satellite dish, the more it can receive from signals. Uh, the bigger the grass blade, the taller that the grass blade is, the more sun it can actually um, get and turn into photosynthesis. Another thing is weeds in general are all about competition, okay? If there is no room at the dinner table for a weed, not very many weeds can actually sit at the dinner table. So what we want is bigger, taller, thicker grass. There is just a lot of violets in this back lawn. It's a lot of violet. That's actually no surprise because violets tend to like a cooler, shadier atmosphere. And that's exactly what this lawn is. It's, it's cool and shady because of all the trees. So this is actually what I would expect from all of the, all of the trees that it has. You know, I talked to the customer uh, two or three days ago, and he was asking about power seeding. We're actually done with power seeding for the year, so I can I can give I can get you a quote for next fall. But the biggest thing is there's just a lot of violets. Uh, there's a little bit of traffic from the dogs that come off of the deck. As far as lawn care goes, fertilizer, weed control, um, and and again mowing height is going to be another thing I'm going to stress to them. So I appreciate you. Um, I will see you on the next application. That'll be a winter dormant fertilizer. And we'll see what happened with these weeds after this application. And we'll go from there.